With the release of the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 this previous holiday season, we've been introduced to a whole new host of features and capabilities we've never seen in the next-gen console before. We're talking about 4K at 120 hertz on many, many games on these next-gen consoles. Now we need the displays to be able to keep up with these resolutions and frame rates. So. In this review, I'm going to be talking about the LG 27 GP950. This is one of the few monitors that do support HDMI 2.1, enabling us to get 4K at 120 hertz with a whole host of other features that we'll be covering. So make sure you guys tune into this review and subscribe. Now, as we progress over the generation, we've always got to increase performance things such as frame rates, resolutions, right? Thus creating a demand for displays to be able to show off this visual fidelity that we're getting with a lot of games. And to be able to show off these new visual feats with these next-gen consoles, you need to update your display, whether it's buying a brand new TV or buying a brand new monitor. And in this review, I'm going to show you why the LG 27GP950 is the best gaming monitor that you have to get for your Xbox Series X and PS5. And if we look at the past, this has always been the trend. When transitioning from one console generation to the next not only are you upgrading your hardware um, from a console level but you're upgrading your display as well to be able to output the visual fidelity of these games and to show off that fine detail and this is something that this monitor does perfectly as i'm going to highlight with a lot of clips and a lot of different games i've been playing on this monitor both on ps5 and xbox series x now let's get into the technical specs of this display right here this is a 4k monitor that does support hdmi 2.1 meaning that you can game at 4K or a game that's targeting 4K at a much higher resolution at 120 hertz. And on other displays that did not support HDMI 2.1, you either have to stay at 4K 60 or you have to drop the resolution to something like 1440p or 1080p to get that 120 hertz mode. Now, this is going to be a huge, huge jump for a lot of people because if you want to target that native 4K or a game that's targeting 4K, let's say like 800p or something like that, you can still get that 120 hertz and still get that visual fidelity instead of you having to lower your resolution on this display. Now, another feature that's in this monitor is something called VRR or variable refresh rate, which is a huge feature because there's a lot of games that target higher frame rates or try to achieve a lock 60, a lock 120 hertz, and it doesn't always reach that target. There's areas that's much more demanding, frame rates drop, and what can happen if you don't have something like a VRR or an AMD FreeSync Premium Pro or G-Sync is, is going to result in screen tearing. And to be able to maintain a smoother image, something like VR is really, really going to help. So this is key for a lot of people and for a lot of games, especially games that are targeting 120 hertz. Um, not all of them are, are achieving a locked 120 hertz. Sometimes you drop down to the teens, sometimes you drop down to the 90s, which isn't a huge deal, but for those severe dips, you want to make sure that you have a display that can help mitigate those frame rate drops and keep a smooth image so that you don't even notice that happening. Now, another feature that this monitor does have is Display HDR 600, which is huge. I love this feature. I love bright displays, and this display gets really, really bright when playing games, thus showing up better highlights for HDR. When you have a display that doesn't get bright enough, let's say for example the acer which has been compared to this monitor a lot which only supports 400 nits you're not going to get that level of vibrancy and color reproduction with that display like you get with the lg which is key for me now having a, a brighter panel and having a wider color gamut is what made me buy the lg i don't want a display that looks washed out that's not going to be able to reproduce colors well and that's just going to look really really bad compared to other displays that's on the market for the same price and that's the biggest thing i feel like acer really cheaped out on what they could have done with their model versus lg and lg went all out in terms of getting all the features they needed to make this a standout monitor at 27 inches now there are other displays around 43 inches that have higher brightness but those are 43 inch displays so you have to have higher brightness in them now for 27 inches this thing is amazing i have two samsung odyssey g7s that only peak at 400 nits and i can tell the difference from looking at those displays versus the lg i mean it's amazing now something i've seen in my display and all the reviews of the same display is something called backlight bleeding now for me it isn't the biggest deal because i understand that monitors are not perfect they're not like oleds they're not even like high-end LED TVs that have thousands and thousands of local dimming zones where they can ease that a little bit. Um, blooming, I didn't notice too much blooming. I didn't see too much of it. I'm pretty sure somebody did see that, but backlight bleeding is the biggest issue for me. Um, I haven't really looked at logos enough in dark scenes to, to test out the blooming a lot. I'll probably update that in the future video. But so far, this display has been very, very perfect. And I'm showing some games here, such as Spider-Man, God of War, Halo. I mean, it ran amazing. 
and these games whether it's at 60 hertz 120 hertz one of the standout games in terms of visuals was ratchet and clank and ratchet and clank looked amazing because of how many how many colors are popping out in those scenes and how vibrant it is um, Ratchet and Clank has to be the the best looking game I've used on this monitor besides I'll say Spider-Man Remastered and the reason why I say Spider-Man Remastered is because Miles Morales is set during winter time so the the color palettes that's being used in something like a Miles Morales versus a Spider-Man Remastered which is more of like a summertime type of Spider-Man game with the setting and the weather I like Spider-Man Remastered visually and the way it felt at that performance mode. Now, I didn't do the RT performance mode, I just did the regular performance mode targeting a higher um, re resolution. But overall, I love this display. I highly recommend it for you guys, especially for you competitive guys that like to play FPSs like Halo, Call of Duty. Um, we don't know if Battlefield 2042 is going to get 120 hertz, but if it does, that would be amazing. And yeah, this is my recommendation for next-gen consoles and even pc for you pc guys this thing supports 165 hertz which you can overclock this display to hit that and then you know with your 3080 3090 you're good so yeah i definitely recommend this now to close out this video i want to say shout out to a lot of you guys on twitter that were asking for this review and supporting me if you guys have any further questions let me know leave a comment on the description i'll answer your questions to the best of my ability also make sure you guys subscribe to my channel make sure you guys like it if you have any feedback please leave any feedback to help me improve the quality of my videos for future reviews i do stream on this channel and on my twitch whichever platform you do prefer links are in the description other than that you can catch me on planet xbox every wednesday on kiss moves youtube channel make sure you guys subscribe to him as well show him a lot of support a lot of love and i really really did enjoy doing this product review this is the first product review i've ever done on this youtube channel and i had a lot of fun doing that especially testing out a lot of these different titles i had to download a lot of the games on my xbox and my ps5 to really see like hey which games are going to look the best which games are going to get the best visual enhancements and which games are really going to utilize the feature set that this monitor has and a lot of them do so if you guys are looking for a 4k monitor that does support hdmi 2.1 definitely check this out if there's any other options out there let me know we can have a dialogue about which one you should get this is definitely my recommendation over the acer that i mentioned earlier other than that i'll have some more footage playing and i'll let the music play you guys enjoy, okay? Peace.